Welcome back to Project RSX. Today we're on episode 11. In the last episode, I bought these $25 LED strip lights from Amazon. I installed them. It's very nice. Today you're going to see me make yet another upgrade to the interior, but this time I'm going to do it through these diamond stitch car mats. That's what I wanted for a long time to put in the RSX because for now, I'm still driving this through winter and I don't want the salt and all that stuff ruining the floor. And I wanted something that looked nice too. So this diamond stitch design, I think it just looks luxurious. It has a little sporty touch to it they have all these different color options so you can really envision like what you think would look nice inside your car and then pick a color so you see that brown uh, coffee gray red and the one I wanted was this one I wanted the black with red stitching and I think it's gonna look nice with a type S it'll complement it but you can also pick if you want just the front car mats you want the front and rear and then there's a section here that allows you to fill in your car's information the make model and the year so here I put 2002 Acura RSX type S there's also a right hand drive option in case your car is right hand drive they'll make the mats according to the layout and uh, that's nice you know I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for this company that makes these mats so uh, i went ahead and ordered it from this site so when the mats finally did come in i was excited they looked really nice you know the black with red stitching red stitching actually really popped on these mats uh you guys are gonna notice the wrinkles and that's perfectly fine the reason why is because they're in a box they have to fold them up that's expected there's nothing i can really do about that but i will show you guys a method i use to kind of get out some of these wrinkles i'll show you that later but for now let's visually inspect these i really like that they're lightweight that's a really really good bonus because i don't want to add extra weight to my car there's no loose stitching it's not going to come apart and these are waterproof you know the material is nice it's not too slippery your, your feet aren't going to slip off you know when you're resting them and overall the craftsmanship i'm satisfied with i like how these mats were made they're put together well they look nice and uh, you know I was excited but obviously with the wrinkles here's the method that I use uh, to get them out it's not that hard all you want to use is uh, well cardboard I just put underneath but you want to use a wet towel make sure it's not like soaking wet but like damp and you're gonna apply it over the areas with the wrinkles you let it sit over there and just use an iron with medium heat and just go over the areas with the wrinkles it's gonna help the heat will help release the wrinkles and if they're still there after you go over it a few times then just increase the heat but be mindful don't burn your mats but this is how you do it So after working on this for quite a bit, this is what I ended up with. There's still a few wrinkles, but this is way better than before. Like look how it looked before and look at it now. I'm happy with that overall before it looked like it was just about to rip, but now it, it looks nice. So I'm happy with that. Let me show you the before and after for the driver's side as well. Here's what the driver's side looked like before. And here's how it looked like after. It's actually crazy now that I'm looking back at the footage of how much of a difference that actually made. And I just put a little bit of work in, you know, just a little bit of patience, a little bit of work. And there you go. Makes all the difference. You guys could use this method. If it helps you, then, then great. So at this point, I'm ready to install the mats. Um, I'm not going to show you guys step by step how to install them. It's really not that complicated, but I just want to show you the inside of my car. Um, what it looks like before. So you have an idea of what we're going to. It just has the regular style mats. You know they're pretty much stained up you see how look how ugly the front ones look they're all stained up salt snow is brought into the car uh, i can't really protect my floors like that so here's what it looks like before just like that we got the mats installed and they look really nice they actually do look really nice and uh some people are gonna be perfectionists like all oh, the wrinkles should have got more of them out but listen listen to me all right this is my car all right, and I did what I had to do to protect my floors, and I'm happy. The mats themselves are nice. It actually suits the car. The inside of the vehicle looks alive. It looks nice. You just be looking at the ground, looking at your feet. You're not even driving anymore. You're gonna get into so many accidents because you're distracted by how nice your mats look now. One thing I need you guys to understand is uh, I had to make a few modifications to the mats. So you see this area right here in the driver's mat? I had to cut this section out. And I know some of you guys won't like that, but I had to do it because this area right here would bunch up, 
with the extra material coming behind the clutch pedal. I couldn't fully disengage it. I couldn't go all the way down with the clutch and that was a concern. I'd rather just cut it out and have no drivability issues than have to deal with this. Also with the rear mat, um, I don't know why, but it just didn't fit. Like it didn't fit properly as it should. I had to cut it. I had to cut. I wish I had showed you guys what it what it was doing before, but it literally did not fit. And no matter how many times I tried to adjust it, it wouldn't. So I had to cut it into a two piece, and that was the only way for it to actually fit on the floor without bunching up anywhere, without you know rising from one area. And it's just one of those things where I can live with it. I only think it's like this because of my RSX. It was very hard to find a website that had the option to get mats for an RSX. But uh, this was literally like one of the very few websites that made it for the RSX. But uh, as you can see, I had to, you know, make adjustments myself. But not the end of the world. The mats look incredible, makes the car feel more sporty, more luxurious, just added a little bit of seasoning to the interior. So everything is green lights for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a like, it helps me out, helps with the algorithm, really supports the channel as well. If you guys wanna also subscribe, be a part of Zilla Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.